Suppose you get a request for a copy of a job that you've previously deleted from your computer. As stressed in the previous lesson, you will always back up jobs before deleting them. So all you'll have to do is restore the job to the computer, and then you can use any of the delivery features to get that job to your client. For example, let's say I have a client who wants a copy of the Keys October 10th job. In Manage Jobs Lesson 1, I backed up that job to a flash drive. I deleted that job off my hard drive in Lesson 2. Now I need to access that job again. The first step is to place the media which contains the backup into a drive connected to your computer, or to just connect the drive. The Keys job is on this flash drive, so I'll go ahead and connect the flash drive. The Windows Autoplay dialog is letting me know that F is the letter that has been assigned to the flash drive. That information will come in handy in just a moment. I'll go ahead and close this dialog, as I don't want to use any of the Windows options to access these files. The next step is to select Restore. There are a couple of different ways to do this. I can click the Restore button on the toolbar, or I can click Tools, Restore, or I can press the shortcut key, Control plus R. The open dialog box displays. On the left side, I'll select the F drive where my backups are located. Now, I'll select the backup package that contains the job I want to restore. I want to restore the Keys October 10th job, so I'll select the backup with that name, and then click Open. On the left side of the Restore dialog, it shows me all the files I'm choosing to restore, in this case, the Keys October 10th file and all of its subfiles. On the right side, I can select where the files will be restored. All of the users on my system are listed, and the user I'm currently working in is selected by default. Before we restore, there's one more option to be aware of. It's called Keep Case Structure. This option is selected by default, and should remain selected unless you want to restore the selected files to a different case or folder than where the file was when it was backed up. For this job, I'll accept the defaults, and the Keys October 10th job will be restored to the same location where it was backed up. Now, I'll go ahead and click OK. And there's my job. Let's restore one more file. Let's say I was editing on a computer at home, and I made a number of data finds. I made a backup of the system's files case, which contains my personal dictionary and those new defines. Now, let's say I go to my office, and I want the latest version of my personal dictionary on my office computer. No problem. I'll just restore the backup I made at home. I'll connect the media, and note the drive letter assigned to it, Next, I'll open the Restore command, select the drive, and select the System Files Backup, and then click Open. Now, I don't need to restore every single file inside my System's File case when all I want is the latest version of my personal dictionary. So, I'll deselect the checkbox next to the System's Files case, then I'll check just the personal dictionary, so that's the only file that will be restored. Now, in order to work properly, the personal dictionary needs to be inside the system's files case. If keep case structure is selected, then the personal dictionary will be restored inside the system's files case. It's important to leave the username selected over here when keep case structure is selected. If I were to select the system's files case over here after already telling the system to keep the case structure, it would create a second system files case inside my current system's files case, and I certainly don't want that. So, I'm not going to do anything on the right-hand side of the dialog box. The defaults of Keep Case Structure selected and restoring to the current user will restore the file to the correct location. I'll go ahead and click OK. Catalyst wants you to confirm that you want to replace the older personal dictionary file with the more recent version of the same file. Click Yes to proceed. And that's it! The newer version of the personal dictionary has been restored. You now know how to restore files from a backup. Now would be a great time to practice restoring backed up files. Go into the training user and follow the directions for exercise 3 in the Managed Jobs practice document. Then proceed with the next lesson in order.